Hey everyone, this is Sunglass Rob from Sport RX, and the number one question we get asked is, how do I know if a new pair of glasses is gonna fit me? And that's a great question, and like most great questions, the answer is a little bit complicated, but we're here today to try and uncomplicate things. What we're gonna do is introduce a new frame measurement called the SFW, or Sport RX Frame Width. And you might ask, why would a new measurement uncomplicate things? The reason why is the current measurements don't really take into account how much a frame wraps that can really affect the width or if there's any aesthetic features on a frame or any kind of design cues that make a frame wider or smaller. So those measurements really don't give you the effective frame width, the true frame width. And today we're gonna figure out how to get your true frame width, your Sport RX frame width, and then use that measurement to buy glasses that are gonna fit you better. So what you need to measure the SFW is a pair of glasses that fits you really well, Regular pair of eyeglasses is gonna be the best. Try not to use sunglasses for this measurement. Sunglasses are a little bit harder to measure. And then you're gonna need a ruler. And this measurement is done in millimeters. Many, many inch rulers do have a centimeter and millimeter side to them. And if it only has centimeters, don't worry. 10 millimeters is one centimeter, and then you can figure out the millimeters. So now that you have a pair of eyeglasses that fits you well, and what I mean by that is something that's comfortable, not so tight that it squeezes your head, not so tight that it leaves creases, not so loose that every time you bend over, they fall right off. Your eyes are nice and centered up in it. A pair of glasses that you like, and then what you're gonna do is take your glasses off and put them on a level table and then grab your ruler. And I know there's some of you out there that need your glasses to be able to take a measurement like this, a detailed measurement. So if you're one of those people, maybe get a friend to help you, maybe find an older pair of glasses that still works or a pair of readers or a pair of cheaters or computer glasses so you can still take this measurement. And then now that the glasses are nice and lined up on the table, grab the uh, centimeter, millimeter side of the ruler and you wanna take this measurement closer to to the hinges, closer to the lenses, up front, kind of where the widest part of the frame is, and line up the zero marker right where the air and the metal meet. Basically like the inside air pocket is what we're really trying to measure here, that width in between. So right where the plastic or the metal meets the air, line it up left to right, get it nice and balanced, and I'm getting just about 139 millimeters here. So that's gonna be the SFW on these eyeglasses. Now, some of you out there have eyeglasses with spring hinges, and that complicates things a little bit because these hinges are kind of on the inside where the SFW would be measured, and it's gonna give you a false reading. If you're including the spring hinge, it's gonna give you a smaller SFW than what you really truly wear. So let me show you what not to do. What not to do would be to only count the air in between the spring hinges, and that would make these just about 135, which is a good chunk smaller than the 139 I'm wearing currently. If I actually went temple to temple, um, metal to metal where the air meets and not include that spring hinge, I'm closer to just about 140, maybe 141 millimeters. And don't stress one millimeter. What we're gonna do once you find your SFW is use a range. So I'm 139. That's gonna tell me that most glasses between 136 and 142 are gonna fit you well. So once you have your SFW, you can shop on sportrx.com, two to three millimeters on either side, and the glasses are gonna be the right width for you. Let me show you some examples. So this pair of Spy Generals, it has a SFW of 137, a couple millimeters smaller than my normal glasses. And you can notice they fit me really, really well, not too tight, not too snug, not too loose. They don't fall off right away. And they look right. They kind of cover my eye sockets well. They kind of line up with the width of my face. Just a nice, good, comfortable fit. And let me show you a couple more that fit me well. And then we'll jump into something that doesn't fit me so well so you can really see what I mean. So this is an Oakley Holbrook XL. And this has a SFW of 140 millimeters. And again, super comfortable, wide enough to kind of complete my face. Not so big that they overtake, not so small small that they're uncomfortable or kind of have a lot of exposed skin. So these fit really well again. And here's a Ray-Ban Aviator up again to 141. This has a SFW of 141. And again, I think these fit me really, really well. They have a nice coverage, not too big, not too small, not so wide that they're overtaking, not so narrow that you're seeing kind of a lot going on there. 
And then let me show you something that doesn't fit me so well. So this actually happens to be our most popular frame here at Sporter X. This is the Oakley Flak 2.0 XL. And this one happens to be the limited edition matte carbon color. We did a collaboration with Oakley. You can only get this color at Sporter X, pretty cool. But if you notice, these are a little bit too small for me. They're immediately kind of pinching me, not super, super comfortable. And uh, kind of like too much skin here, a little bit too small. If you just notice they're just a little too small on my face not super the best fit and i have a big head so these fit most people but i have a sfw 139 which is kind of on the large the extra large side so that's how sfw works our whole point our whole goal with this video and really our whole company is to get you the best glasses you've ever had to help you see better while doing what you love that was the whole idea here if you need more help we would love to help you you can email us you can chat with us on the website and you can even call us we have real life friendly opticians on the phone that will ask you a few questions and get you dialed into the best glasses you've ever had hopefully this was helpful and we'll see you out there bye line up the zero marker right where the air and the metal meet basically like the inside air pocket is what we're really trying to measure here that width in between so right where the plastic or the metal meets the air line it up left to right get it nice and balanced and i'm getting just about 139 millimeters here